Good afternoon and welcome to Real Talk with Tamara. As you guys come into the room, please hit the like button. Also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. I hope that you guys are doing okay on this evening. I know that I am. I always express the importance of hitting the like button because the like button helps to keep the video in the algorithm, okay? So like, share, subscribe, comment, all of those great things, okay? Um, yeah, like, share, subscribe, comment, okay? If you would like to support the channel, you can definitely support the channel via Cash App. I just put the Cash App up. You can support the channel via Cash App or you can hit the super thanks, okay? I wanted to talk about Reggie Wright goes in on Suge Knight for uh, saying free Keefe D, right? Now, um, you know, when I looked at the interview that they just uploaded on a channel that he's always on, you know, um, that he's really been doing interviews on where he revealed that uh, Keefe D would um, be indicted. Oh, excuse me, he would be indicted and all that, you know. Um, sit down, uh, uh, Remy. He's been doing interviews on that channel. He was the first one to reveal that Keefe D back in August would be indicted. Of course, it took a little longer, but he had said that he believed that he would be indicted by the end of August. So he definitely knew that it was going to happen. Okay. Now, I want to uh, play a little bit of what he said because I I thought, I don't know, I, you know, we've heard a lot about Reggie Wright and it was alleged that he was a real crooked cop. Everybody that hung around him talks about it, um, you know. Um, yeah, everybody that hung around him talk about how he was a, a crooked uh, police officer back in the day. He was the security for right right way security and keefe d um has even been on record as saying himself if he goes down when they were saying that reggie Wright said he was going to be indicted he says if i go down then reggie is going down uh with me so if i go down i'm taking a whole lot of people with me if i'm going down for tupac he's going down for biggie okay now um, I, I, I want to play a little bit of what he was, what he I said, because he has in. some, he went in, he was mad at Suge Knight. And I, I really, I didn't, I guess I thought that he would say something else, but it, it, it just proves that he is crooked. You know, hold on. We know you're a man posing as a woman. Uh, you better prove to us that you're not, but it's all good. You're still a subscriber. I don't care what you, what you are. So shout out, um, uh, and um, last, last but not least, I forgot this one right quick. Y'all can go over and support me and your boy, The Realist. We did a, uh, a video slash song that's up on. Now he's doing music. <laughs> Y'all know I'll be fucking up names uh, to possibly that incident. But I have been not obligated or ordered. Or I don't know if it still stands still. Hold on. That's why I stopped talking about it. I just was very, very confident that it was going to happen. You know, some of you smart idiot. I think that's the name. <laughs> Y'all know I'll be fucking up names. Uh, John, tell me the correct name of the song if you know it off here. Um, keep your mouth closed. All right. Keep your, story. keep your mouth closed to keep your D story. So I'm sure y'all appreciate that video. Okay, now he did a... Um... Um, now this is a, a supposed to be a law enforcement officer. He's retired now, but you would still think that he would live by the oath, right? Of wanting to get the bad people off of the street. Instead, he's doing a song about keep your mouth closed, and he wants everybody to believe he's an upstanding officer. But okay. And my boy Rick also was involved. Other than that, let's go. So obviously when KPD got arrested, uh, we did a live stream and um, talked about it and then reacted to the press conference. But now that it's been a little over a week since that happened, can you talk me through that day and um, some of your thoughts when you realized that what you said was gonna happen actually ended up happening? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, didn't know, like I said, never knew when it was going to happen. Just was very, very confident that it was going to happen. You know, some of you smart, idiot ass YouTubers will say, oh, yeah, because you want to, that's part before the grand jury and all that. I thought, like, you know, well, if you look at the dates as y'all did, y'all know y'all, y'all saw it. Y'all, y'all like to omit that part, you know, and then go and testify until, shit, I forgot when. First week of, of, of September. I've been talking about this over a year, but didn't know. I told y'all I was getting subpoenaed, so it ain't like it was no secret. Didn't have much to say, as y'all see him from the, the grand jury testimony. That wasn't what it was about. I wasn't there. I ain't seen shit. I can just tell you what happened and what, what led up to possibly that incident. But I have been not obligated or honored. Or I don't know if it still stands still. That's why I stopped talking about it because, um, once you go to the grand jury, you're not supposed to talk about what you talked about in the grand jury. It's actually a misdemeanor crime. Um, so I got to research and find out uh, if I can talk about it now, which why is all over YouTube, <laughs> what I was what was said and what I said. And so, uh, yeah, if y'all listen to it, y'all know that I ain't saying nothing incriminating to... Uh, put the man in jail because he did that on his own motherfucking accord. They didn't, they don't need any assistance with that because of his stupidity. But, uh, we had got a heads up. We had knew, uh, you know, cause I'm from Compton, people from Compton talk. So we had gotten phone calls starting at at least seven 30, uh, AM, eight o'clock AM that he has been taken into custody. Uh, and we didn't go live, uh, announcing it until about nine 45. I had uh, known about it, had the copy of the indictment about eight 30, uh, AM that morning, but we and John didn't want to be the first to go out with it because of the information and how we had got it. But then other people started leaking it. And then we went live and y'all saw the live stream and, and uh, what we thought of it. Yeah. Let me talk to you about this. Cause we did like a ver like a audio response, but I think everybody was a bit taken back by, um, Shug Knight's comments stating, um, that he wouldn't testify. He wouldn't cooperate, which wasn't a big surprise but that he wasn't even sure if Keefe D was involved, but he was definitely sure that Vegas didn't know who the shooter was and that because Orlando testified for him, he was a good kid. And he closed off this entire statement with saying, um, free Keefe D. So I just wanted to kind of get your thoughts on him deciding to go that route when it comes to him speaking about it publicly. Yeah, well... Come on. That didn't take me back. The only part that took me back was the free KPD part, <clears throat> if I'm keeping it real. Um, everything else that he said, I don't have no problem with because that's this opinion, opinionated based on a person that's in prison. And so I had no problem with it at all. I just didn't like the fact of KPD, free KPD. The reasoning. The reasoning, for those that y'all can comprehend and understand why, is because guys after the shooting and later subsequently the death of Tupac Shakur and Shug Knight from his neighborhood that considered themselves members of the same gang, the Ma Paru area, took a lot of motherfucking life and death situations and penitentiary chances for them. And to go and smug that in their face after all of those dudes or people did those things, took penitentiary chances and life and death situation dances 
from a nigga that's talking about you was break dancing and saw blood gushing out of your head and Tupac was uh, trying to jump in the back seat acting like a man and then you gonna go and say free that punk ass motherfucker for some frame nigga fuck you Fuck you if that's how you really feel. Now, normally when when Reggie um, does his videos, he has an arrogance about him. Uh, he's matter of fact, but it seems that he's fumbling over words. He seems to be stressed out. Um, he just he seems to be angry, and I guess you know the the um, the real him is coming out. And um, not to say if that's good or bad, but you, you could you could see the frustration, you know. Um, now, he's a police officer and he was a police officer at the time. He's retired. In other words, he was saying that there were a lot. He said there were a lot of life and death situations. If you could read between the lines, which means that um, a lot of those guys that I guess were uh, bloods went and uh, did a lot of things that got them killed or um i'll say unalived or um you know um or, or, or put in jail i don't know if it was necessarily a, 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 about you know uh about tupac but for for him to say that and they did this and and it got them in jail or it, it got them unalive and you say that about that ml F you. Okay. He says F you. He seems to have a lot of anger, right? And I'm not saying, you know, and those that if if that happened to some of those young men, um, you know, I'm I'm not saying that he should be happy about it. I'm just saying you could tell that he I don't know, you could just tell that he's 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 in the midst of it. He doesn't look at it as a standpoint as we would look at it. Whereas, you know, I hate that that happened to those young men. It never should have happened. He looks at it another way as if, you know, we sent them, we sent them out there or, or these, they, it, it was a war and we lost some hours as if they, we lost some of our own, you know? Um, yeah. I mean, that's kind of how I see it. We lost some of our own. I don't know what affiliation he has um, with with the with the gangs, but it 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 if I had to guess, I would say that he does have an affiliation. Him being a police officer means nothing because there are a lot of police officers that are gang affiliated. Um, it went all the way to the Supreme Court, okay, and so the Supreme Court ruled that uh, police officers, when you know, police departments all across the United States was trying not to hire uh, gang-affiliated young men and women. It went all the way to the Supreme Court. They says that you can hire, you have to hire them as long as uh, while they're on the police department, they are not active. Of course, that's unrealistic because normally when they are affiliated, okay, they are active, okay? Whether they say it, regardless of whether they say it or show it or not, they are and they always have um, an interest as it relates to the organization that they are a part of. Okay, we got to be real about that. But yeah, you know, Keefe D. I mean, um, um, Reggie Wright went in on 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 Suge, and like I said, you know, um, it, if if I didn't feel like he was, I just. I don't know. I guess in my opinion, I kind of pick up on what he's fussing about when he talk about these young men losing their lives and all of that and going to jail. What he's fussing about is not what he's mad about. I, I don't really think that um, he he cares about that. I think it's something else. He seems to be stressed out. I think he knows that Keefe D is working with the people. Keefe D had been said that he was going to do it. Keefe D, 60 years old. He don't give a damn about can't being called no rat. Keep it, he just trying to live the rest of his years out and go on and go where he gonna go. Okay, off of this earth. So uh wherever where that be up or down, okay. 
So yeah, you know, um, this this is interesting. I, 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 you know, I think this is going to be interesting. We start to see a lot of. I think what's going to happen is, um, Keefe D himself is going to start trying to solve quite a bit of cases. Now, a lot of those LAPD officers and investigators that was there almost 30 years ago, a lot of them have croaked the crooked ones, okay? A lot of them are no longer here or they have retired. So you're talking about fresh new officers, but but yet and still, even with fresh new officers and new leadership with, within that city, Los Angeles and all of that, uh, they still would be reluctant, I think, to solve cases where their officers were involved, even if Keefe D knows about it, because um, of the lawsuits. I mean, I'm sure whatever it is Keefe D know could probably bankrupt the city, right? But Reggie Wright knows that he's going to be facing something. He seems to have a slurred speech. I don't know. He, he just he just seems a little offish. You know what I mean? He seems... You could tell something is eating his grapes, okay? You know what they say was eating Gibbert's grapes. You could tell that something is eating his grapes. And I don't know, Reggie, right? You know, I, I would I would hate to believe that he was involved in something, but you heard heard heard, heard so many people uh that was involved. It seemed like to me he was too involved as it relates to Suge Knight back then. You heard his name come up as it relates to uh, everybody, okay, and what he was doing. So it's you know, I guess it would, where there's smoke, there's fire. But um, yeah, he's definitely uh, mad at uh, Suge Knight. And I don't care. I don't believe it, it's because he said, because you heard Reggie Wright said you had blood gushing out of your head. Hell, Suge Knight said himself that Reggie and Reggie Wright allegedly and his ex-wife were having an affair allegedly, and they both tried to take him out. So you know he didn't give a damn about them popping him, Okay. So what he's fussing about is not what he's mad about. It's something else. And I think it's got a lot to do with some stuff that we don't know at this point that's going to come out, but it's going to, he's going to end up going down because Keefe D don't care. Okay. <laughs> Keefe D don't care. And when you're dealing with one don't care, he, he, he <laughs> I'd be scared of him too. If I did dirt and he knew about it, especially the type of dirt that they was doing. Okay. Uh, and I, he's coming for blood. Suge Knight just, you know, Suge Knight just smart enough. I think he felt like Suge Knight left him out there by himself, right? Suge Knight just smart enough to say free Keefe D, so Keefe D can be hesitant on 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 dropping the bombs on him. But Reggie Wright has already shown his hand. He talked about the indictments. Okay, that's probably what he's mad about. He talked about the indictments probably was a part of, of of him going down because he said the people came and questioned him and everything asked him to be a witness he was gloating about that was bragging about that he would probably be indicted by the end of august but it took uh maybe a month or so later he was just indicted i believe beginning of october and or the end of september or something like that so it just took a little bit longer and he was still gloating about it, right? But he does not seem to be gloating now because he, because uh, Keefe D did not already let it be known. It's going, it's going down in the courtroom. You know what they say? Go down in the DM. It's going down in the courtroom, okay? So he ain't playing, you know? He done lived the majority of his life. And so I think that's what what was got Reggie mad. He's saying, I've shown my hand. I've got no platforms. And... um you know, talked about, uh, gloated about it, called him idiots. We made fun of him and said he was going to jail. And now Suge Knight gets on there and say, free Keefe D. Okay. He saves his, try to save his tail. Okay. And now I'm out there and Keefe D is going to, it's going down in the courtroom and in the interrogation room with Keith D. Okay. And then he does a song saying, um, y'all heard, he said he just did a song with somebody saying, don't talk or something like that. Now you supposed to be a commission. You were once a commission officer and you still supposed to live by that oath that you took. Okay. Even as a retired officer, because you're getting retirement and benefits and everything and probably a reserve and all that. And you're saying to criminals to talk, don't you put in rap songs out telling criminals not to talk, but you're supposed to be a law enforcement officer uh, and you took an oath to serve and protect the community? Okay. Anyways, 
Child, he mad for real. He mad to the point where he, you know, he his speech is slurred. Okay. Sometimes people's speech be slurred when they blood pressure and stuff up high and or they, you know, stuff like that. We we don't know when they stressed out. But um he seems worried. It seems like to me he's trying to plead his case. You know, he said, I told the guy, you know, that he should be quiet. Why 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 would you want for Keefe D to be quiet? If you were supposedly on the side of Tupac and you were a law enforcement officer, Keith D would be the best kind for for a, 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 a straight law enforcement officer. They love him. OK, but to you, a retired officer. That's still supposed to live by the oath of protecting and serving has told a man that, you know, been known for 30 years, took out a famous rapper. OK to keep his mouth closed and you were supposedly protecting that rapper. You were the person, your security was supposed to protect him, but you tell the people who, who, who took him out, the man who took him out to be quiet because the folks going to come and get you. They watching you. It don't make sense. Okay. It don't make sense. Right. But anyways, you know, this is interesting. Uh, like I said, I've been interested in this case for almost 30 years. I'm glad to finally see it, to finally see it playing out all these years. They took their young man's, they, they stripped his life away from him. And I, and that's just messed up. You know, he had a lot of snakes around him and, and that's just sad on so many levels. Okay. But anyways, you guys, I want you guys to please like, share and subscribe. If you would like to support the channel, you could definitely support the channel via cash app. Talk to you guys later.